Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss the comparison of index numbers by the use of geometric mean and arithmetic mean. Now, as we know that in the construction of index numbers, we are concerned with the ratios or relative changes now, the geometric mean is considered to be the best for the construction of index numbers as this is most suitable for measuring relative changes Now, due to the drawback of difficulties of computation, in place of geometric mean, arithmetic mean is most often used in the construction of index number. Even index number based on arithmetic mean suffers from all different advantages that an arithmetic mean has. Hence, Geometric mean should be preferred over other measures of central tendency. Now let us discuss one example. Now here this data is given to us and here we are taking the year 1985 as the base year. Now we know that from the base year we take the price relative as 100. Now for the commodity A for calculating the price relative for the year 1986 We are here using the formula that this price relative is equal to the current price over base price into 100. So for the year 1986, the year 1985 is the base year. So price relative will be equal to the current price which is 12 over the base price which is 24 into 100. Which I am calculating will be equal to 50. So for the commodity A, the price related for the year 1986 is 50. And similarly, we have calculated for the other cases also. And in this table, the commodities are given to us as A, B and the price in dollars is given as 24 and 50 and also the price related For the commodity A is 100 and for B it is also 100 and for the year 1986 the price in dollars for the commodity A is 12, for B it is 75 and the corresponding price relatives are 50 and 150 and in the year 1987 the price in dollars is 12 and 100 and the corresponding price relatives are 50 and 200 and then in the next we have calculated the total of the price relatives in the particular years and then we have got the arithmetic mean which is equal to the sum of the observations that is 200 over the number of observations which are 2 so 200 over 2 is 100 and then for the year 1986 the arithmetic mean of the price relatives is 200 by 2 which is 100 and for the year 1987 the arithmetic mean of the price relatives is 250 by 2 which is 125 and then we have got the geometric mean 
Now for the year 1985, the geometric mean of price relatives is square root of 100 into 100, which is 100. And then for the year 1986, the geometric mean of price relatives is square root of 50 into 150, which is equal to 86.6. Then for the year 1987, the geometric mean of the price relatives is square root of 50 into 200, which is equal to 100. Now here you can see that the base year is 1985. Now for the year 1986, the price of the commodity A has gone down by 50% that is in the year 1985 the price of the commodity A was $24 but in the year 1986 the price of the commodity A is $12 that means the price of the commodity A has gone down by 50% and the price of the commodity B has gone up by 50 percent. That is, in the year 1985, the price of the commodity B was 50 dollars and in the year 1986, the price of the commodity B is 75 dollars. It means that the price of the commodity B has gone up by 50%. Now here you can also see that the arithmetic mean has shown no change in the index number but the geometric mean shows a change that the average price has gone down. Now the 50% fall cannot be compensated by 50% rise, rather it can be compensated by 100% rise. And this relative change is observed by the geometric mean and it is not observed by the arithmetic mean as the arithmetic mean is showing no change. So we can write that the geometric mean is a better measure. Now let us consider the year 1987. Here it is clearly visible that the price of the commodity A has gone down by 50% or is halved. Now here you can see that in the year 1985 the price of the commodity A was $24 and in the year 1987 it is $12. It means the price of the commodity A has gone down by 50% or it is halved. And the price of the commodity B is doubled in comparison to the year 1985. So we can say that the price of the commodity B is doubled or it has gone up by 100%. Now here the two commodities are of equal importance and there should not be any change in the value of index number of 1987 from that of 1985. As if the price of one commodity goes down by 50% and the other rises by 100%, then there exists no change in the price level 
But in this case, you can see that the arithmetic mean shows an increase of 25%, whereas the geometric mean does not favor any change in the price of 1987 in comparison to that of 1985. That is, the geometric mean is 100 for both the years, but the arithmetic mean is showing an increase of 25%. Now in this case, then the price of A has gone down by 50% and the price of B has gone up by 100%. So in this case, there should not be any change in the value of index number of the year 1987 from that of the year 1985. But in this, the arithmetic mean is showing 25% increase and geometric mean is showing no change in the price of 1987 in comparison to that of 1985. Hence, we can say that the geometric mean gives a correct measure. So we can say that in the construction of index numbers, geometric mean should be preferred over other measures of central tendency as it gives the correct measure. So in this session you have learned about the comparison of index numbers by the use of geometric mean and arithmetic mean. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.